Good morning, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. As we look at your forecast here, we have ourselves some rain for the day. Looks like we could see it earlier in the front half, but more likely in the afternoon and going into the evening. Uh, we have got a cold front that is developing out to the northwest now. Here's the low that's spinning up there. Here's the cold air, and here it comes. Uh, cold air is going to be Arctic this go round, so enjoy the mild weather today. As we head into the weekend, the biggest thing about this will be the drop in temperatures. We're going to be struggling to get to freezing in a lot of areas and the morning hours will be in the teens. Now as we head into our Saturday, you'll notice there's a lot of clouds around, but I'm not looking for precipitation. There is a small chance of a light maybe flurry or two, but nothing big. It'll just be a stronger flow out of the Northwest. Now Sunday's a different thing on Super Bowl Sunday. It does look like a little package of moisture will spin around this big parent low and because of that, we'll end up seeing a few snow showers, probably in the afternoon near the kickoff time and going into the evening. So just keep in mind uh, that uh, that's happening so that you don't get caught with a slick road after the game. Speaking of the game, the story continues the same. Uh, a lot of very warm air out that way right into the weekend. I've got 84 degrees at kickoff. Now for our Friday, temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s and we'll see a good deal of cloudiness throughout the day and the rain develops mostly into the afternoon. You'll notice it'll be mild though before we get that cold Arctic air. And and you'll notice the drop off tomorrow. 33 degrees, then teens in the morning on Super Bowl Sunday, just 31 in the forecast. And on Valentine's Day, it stays cold as well.